Yo, 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 Lazy Eagles 215. Entertainment TV. Huh, you guessed it, man. Hit the like button, man. Also, hit the subscribe, share, comment, man. All that good shit. We here. We here. We ain't gonna stop. Definitely thank y'all for coming through. And definitely thank y'all for tuning in. We got two people already in the building. We got D Weave in the building. We mostly streaming. You already know what type of time we on. Everybody eats. Um, don't stop. Get it, get it, Uncle Luke. Damn right. He made it ratchet as hell. Uh, Kendall says, Hi, Detroit Kings. Hope it's okay that I came through. No doubt. For All sure, days. for sure. Go ahead, bro. No, my bad. And you got uh Kendall in here. Kendall's going, yep. Please, man. Please subscribe to everybody's channel. I need 14 more, and I'm at motherfucking 400. You know what I'm saying? Just help everybody out. Um, hit the Discord link, of course, is in here. Um, and like I said, man, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and spot it out real quick. We got booby traps in the building, we got Detroit Kings in the building. Um, I'm gonna start with booby first, and I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel about it. Um, I watched it, it's not really much to you know, the to, to, to glaze over or whatever, like that, and to like you know, it, it, it's 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 a pretty cool documentary showing you how it started and why it ended. You know what I'm saying? Um, Booby, what you think, man? What you, what's your thoughts on, on the documentary? Man? You know, my thoughts, it was started by DMV Natives, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but besides, hey, we already know anybody who's in the know knows that the Freak Dick was a legendary party, bro. I mean, people still talk about it to this day. It's in rap songs. It's in it's in music. It's I mean it's solidified, bro. They try to bring it back, but we already know. I mean, we don't get into that, but man, it's the fucking freak nick, bro. What? I'm glad who oh stepped God, up and gave it. Oh God. Yeah. Hey Kendall, what's up? You liked yeah, I liked it. Like oh, yeah. that's my little sister liked it. it. <laughs> you liked it, it i liked it man i mean it told me a little bit about it that i didn't really that i was kind of that i kind of knew about but it gave me a little bit more information on it that i did especially about how it started and the people that started it you feel me so that right there was a nice little tidbit and then of course everything else we kind of knew because we already seen other documentaries but um they had some footage in there that wasn't in other documentaries don't believe that oh, so yeah, yeah. more footage oh yeah, yeah for sure sorry i'm gonna ask you a question i never went to a uh, freaking one old enough i'm not gonna cap and lie and say i was there i wasn't there i ain't know about it until i was down there probably 12 years old 13. i ain't gonna hold you bro i ain't know nothing about no damn freak no nah, i ain't I ain't go to the Fricknick. I went to drop somebody off to school. I went on a on a on a trip to drop somebody off to school, and they was they was going down there and Fricknick was jumping off. But I ain't get to participate. I ain't get to do none of that other shit. So I ain't participate. I was you know what I mean basically just dropping somebody off, and that was I was a little ass kid. So I definitely wasn't yeah. going to participate. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, Tori, I didn't I didn't go, bro. But my mom and them, they went and shit, man. Um, you know, my aunties and all that, they went, you feel me, Philly to Atlanta. They did it. They was I was I'm a 90s kid. I was born in 89, so I, I got family members that went to that shit. Um, I don't want to think about what my mother was doing there, but she went. Go ahead, Detroit. No, no, I know my cousin and stuff. Uh they went and everything like that and told me some stories now. Uh what I, I did I do I think this documentary is trash? No, do I think that is a is it's a great doc? It's below average, pretty it's pretty it's good. I think they you know, I think they was kind of scared to really go into it because it's on Hulu and you know what I mean. Some they don't want to, you know, like go because it, it, they could have got real raw with this documentary. And um, it's I'm, I ain't gonna um, you know run right now and get the track shoes going because there's some things I loved about it. You know what I mean? I love that they they broke it down for all the people that saying that you know what I mean people was acting nasty and paused the R word and um all type of stuff about men. And I love that they they didn't you know they didn't put it all on men. Well, they kind of did at the end, but they kind of said. You know what I mean? Man and woman was acting reckless, but we're going to get to that, though. 
That's for damn sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a that's a major fact. That's a major fact. Um, I, I'm just saying, like like I said, it said TVMA. They didn't even really need to throw that in there. All it was was just women twerking in in, in their panties and all that. I mean, that's not no TVMA. I'm thinking I'm about to see some crazy shit. A and B. Um, how it started was I believe what they said at the colleges. They wanted to make it like a freak. Nick doing the freak was a dance and it was a picnic. So mm -hmm. I like how I like that part. But they said 1996 and 1995. And I think 94 was when Luke, you know, you know, Luke is nasty, man. He one of my heroes. I swear to God, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Luke is one of my heroes. Um, <laughs> don't <laughs> stop getting it. Get it. <laughs> yes. I, he he, he loved women like I love women, bro. Exactly. Uh, definitely, man. He was one of the ones that started off all the crazy and wild shit. Um, but as far as that last story, that was pretty crazy, too. Um, Kendall said she gained more insight more than I knew what, what went on. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and flex and say I went there and I snuck in there and shit. I ain't never been to that motherfucker, man. But it's definitely an Atlanta staple. What you think about that, Detroit? Um, like what part? Like what do you? What part, my brother? Yeah. I, I, about, I know, I know you. I know you busy over there. I just go like th th this. What I think about, bro. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, it was for a good cause, man. You right. know what I mean? It did what it supposed to do. Somebody from the from the DMV created it. You know what I mean? They helped. It was all for the having fun because all the white kids. They had they they Daytona, Miami Beach, all that type. So they wanted to create a great environment, a fun environment. For black kids, for black women and men in college. You know right. what I mean? Like it did some good. Like nobody wants to talk about this, but it did some good. Then then bad. It, it, it boosted up the economy for Atlanta, Georgia. Facts. It, you know what I mean? Like you making fifty on, on just one, I mean, like two or three days, you making fifteen million dollars in the nineties. You boom business is booming. Right. Absolutely. Exactly. I mean, they but wasn't you, tripping about it until the Olympics came around anyway, but... Yeah. Going back exactly. to what Detroit said, being that they didn't have any... I mean, they had all the... All the spring break was all in Miami with all, like you said, with the white kids. This was for all black colleges, you know what I mean? Historically black colleges that were there in the area. And then other historically black colleges started traveling there from other from all around the country to that spring break you know what i mean that is legendary within itself where it just started in atlanta and then all the black colleges from all over the country just started to mob there and meet there because that was their spring break that right there that's historical bro it ain't really get wild until all the other people that didn't go to college started showing up right for real but that might be from other college, like like he's like born paper boy said like we we could talk about like from uh, like from white colleges like you know I hate to say this but like a uh, Michigan State University of Michigan Maryland um you know mm -hmm. v BCU and um yeah, Georgia, Howard like, University like, all them was going down there everybody yeah was, they was just traveling they just got on the road and hey, I'm going to spring break this was our spring break you feel me that's why I was so lit. And of course, because it's black people having fun, it got, like I said, it didn't get out. It was, it was all love. It was all love until all the other people, regular niggas, regular people from off the street, just started yeah. knowing that and knowing that it was coming into town and just started going there and wilding out. Y'all, it's not for y'all. You know what I mean? They said, they said like 40 years old, 30, 30, 40 years old. Oh, it's yeah. not for y'all. <laughs> what are y'all doing there? Mm. I, I'm gonna say, say this though. This, now, paper, you probably remember this, right? All the people in the chat, y'all probably. I know Tori remember this too. Remember when uh, Facebook was only for college students? Yeah, when it first that? started. When, when it first, first started. started, it was only, it was only on campus. It was only on campus. Like you had to be a college student for Facebook. Now, when Facebook opened up for everybody, that's when you start really getting all the ratchet stuff going on the facebook it was out of control that's just how I freaking it was you start getting people that wasn't even they could come on i would have think about it what a bunch of 50 year old 40 year old man in 30 year old doing in the ca college campus with a freaking with a bunch of kids um freshmen at 17 
from 17 years old to 23 years old what are you doing there exactly come on now <laughs> do you really want me to say what they were doing there well, yeah Crazy. what was they doing yeah what was they really doing there like it was no a business. bunch of a bunch of perverts <laughs> yeah and we and find and somebody to trick on exactly Basically. and last night and last night i like it was mostly men that's what i i'm paper i'm gonna tell you why i like about this documentary but i mean why didn't one thing i didn't like they said a bunch of 60 year old 40 year old men it wasn't just them coming there it was women coming down there too that didn't go to college mm -hmm. they exactly. always they always portrayed to bl a black man to be a savage and doing all this it was pause i'm, I'm, I'm about <clears> to take it there it was women in that documentary you don't y'all don't believe me go back and watch this it. woman in that documentary paul i mean i'm gonna say oh, they, paul, were, they AKA, were showing them they definitely were showing them yeah they was definitely showing them pause aka diddy they were sitting there putting these women's putting their hands in these men's with um penises man pause they was doing that mm -hmm. they was doing that you know what i mean sitting there like well you need you show me something and if they, the man didn't show them nothing they put their hands in they in their boxes or whatever like that. Three right. one three what up? Three one three what up though? You know what I mean. So don't be sitting there making it seem like man was being savages. Yes, the men were being savages, but women were too because they showed up was was wearing Daisy dudes, showing their butt, uh, doing all type of stuff. It was it was it was beyond ridiculous how they in this documentary. But they yeah, I know paper you caught it. How they made it seem like it oh, was yeah. just man out here being directors and all that. It was, it was mutual. It was on both sides. It wasn't until it got a little crazier later on, like they was talking about like '96. Whoa. That's mm. but that's when it was majority because a lot of the, the college kids was like, "I'm not even staying here. I'm going home." So by that time, it was less college kids and it was more grown ass adults in there. <laughs> you feel me? Not yeah. to say college kids ain't adults, but it was more the people that wasn't even in college out there wilding the fuck out. So that's why everything fell apart because it wasn't for them. It's not for y'all. It's for college kids. If you wanted to do it, go to college. Why are you out there? <laughs> exactly. It's, but I it mean, was, it's basically at that at that point, it's like the, the old people in the club with young kids. What y'all doing, bro? Right, what y'all exactly. doing? That's crazy. <laughs> But I'm saying, like, it, it was an open invitation for everybody to come and chill. It don't like no, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't an open invitation, but I mean, you could just walk up and party with everybody. It was the same no, shit. It was open it invitation for kids, for, 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 college. for college kids. That's what it was meant for. It was meant for the college kids that couldn't go home. And then, yeah. on top, then after that, once they found out how lit the party was, a lot of them just said, I'm not going home. I'm staying for Fricknick. So, and that's so what it lot. was. So a lot of y'all, so y'all too blame the older people for fucking up Freak Nick. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's they fought because they're the main ones that should have never been there. Okay. Who told them to come down there? You 30, 40 years old, six, six year old. I'm going to say this, man. If if you if you're 30 years old, you're 40, 50, 60, you go in there playing with a bunch of college kids. You actually, you need to like kind of scratch your head and think, you, why are you here with these kids? Let these kids live their youth, man. Let them you they college. They ain't never gonna get this ever again. Once you get to you know I mean? hey, you had your turn. Exactly. <laughs> like, and yeah. then, you're right. You had your turn. Let these kids have their turn. What you doing over there? Trying to what you trying to be young again or something? Take your old ass <laughs> to bed or something. Go in there and watch Matlock, motherfucker. Go drink you some milk and go um and watch Matt Light a, um, a, 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 a movie or something, bro. Do something. You ain't got to be over there. Y'all could have had y'all little cookouts and all that stuff. And did y'all did y'all think mind y'all own business? Hey, y'all little own head party at Cabaret or something. God damn, get the hell out of here. Exactly. Yep. Kendall said uh, it seemed like a good time except towards the end when they shined the light on what also was occurring. People were wilding for real, for real. What y'all think about that? That's what we saying with the old heads. And that's what that's what went it went downhill. So the girl that yeah. almost got the hold on the girl that almost got raped. Those are all older guys. That I, they never could. I, it, I gotta go back and watch the doc again. But they never said a name who did it. They never said a name or an age. But I suspect that it was. 
I suspect that it was either old heads that didn't need to be there in the first place, or it was street, <laughs> it was street niggas that don't go to school, that didn't go to college, that was just out there trying to look for something. It's not for y'all neither. You feel me? It's a party, but at the same time, go to the after party or go to somewhere. That's not for y'all. Leave that for the kids, man. Exactly. At the end of the day, that's how I, that's how I was looking at it. Y'all, they was doing too much. The, the people in the city, because they knew after a couple years, they knew, okay, Freak Nick is coming around this time of year. And all the people that's not even in school, they like, okay, yeah, they getting they getting hyped up for the party too. But it's not even meant for y'all. But y'all can still go because everybody's out and about anyway. Facts. Man, RD must be healthy, man. She got a bad time and everything. <laughs> she must be a healthy chick, man. Uh, man, I'm gonna be honest. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. My mom is older than RD. She, she be hanging tough. I don't, RD just, I don't know, man. RD be in the bed at eight, at eight o'clock, bro. I couldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> she be oh, under got the bed. She got a priority. She ain't playing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. On a Saturday though, <laughs> it ain't nothing to do. <laughs> you, shout out to RD though. Shout out to her. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tamika Dan in the building. building Tamika Dan, yeah, she from the, Tamika from New York though. It's like niggas don't go to bed till like six in the morning up north, man. Jersey, Philly, and New York is the same shit. Man. Tell you, <laughs> oh man, but man, my, my my uncle he could be up at two o'clock in the morning, but he get up at seven in the morning to get the workout done, man. Some people just, I guess, some people not just you know can't can't do it, man. I don't know, but but shout out to RD though, man. She got a bedtime, man. So shout out to her, bro. You know she sleep for sure. Um, Kendall says, I think that's the problem all along with students going on spring break. Outsiders causing most of the issues. Damn, she she feeling what you're saying. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, why they that's why they told them people um, that they ain't listen, but that's why they told them motherfuckers don't come down here in Miami this year. Mm -hmm. they, they portrayed that they, they particularly told them don't come down there. If you come down there doing something stupid, you're going to jail. Right to jail. But I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never, I've never been to spring break anything in my life. Um, I never was the one to go to spring break. So, you know, I wanted to go. I never had a chance to go. Have y'all ever been to any spring break events? Anything like that? Growing up? I have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, Even you know, it started. It actually started for me. It actually started in high school for me, like senior year in high school. When we went to, we planned a trip to go to Orlando, Florida. That's when it started for me. And then out of, out of that, we went to Miami, Daytona, problem. Have you ever been to Virginia Beach with L? No, nah, I never been. No, I only I ain't never been to Virginia at all. Oh, 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 no, that's the best. No, no. That's that's the best one right there. But I'm a, I'm gonna chill on that. Yeah, we get crazy out there, bro. For sure, no bullshit. I'm talking about. Woo! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It gets wild. I've been to some college stuff, man. Let's go going, going to especially when I was in my early, my early twenties. Like I'm talking about, like twenty one, even before that, eighteen, nineteen, bro. Being mm -hmm. in the DMV, it's a whole bunch of colleges out there. You're going to colleges all the time. When your friends going to college. They inviting you to parties. They doing. It get crazy on them campuses, bro. People just, I mean, people that have been up there they know. But yeah, that the shit that they were showing in movies is it's not fake. It's not far off. Yeah, my brother oh. told me on those campus parties they be running around naked, man. Women walk running around naked and everything. Little girls. They do. when I went to Virginia Beach, man, that's some serious, man. When I tell you. <laughs> and you got some ones that take them dumb dumb um bikinis off and that mm -hmm. beach? Oh, they do. And you see the whole ass correct to the to the point. I've been, <laughs> I've been on top on college campuses at prime thong song time. Mm -hmm. And thong song time when they was having wet t-shirt contests. You know what I mean? Bruh, wet t-shirt contests and thong contests. <sighs> Bruh. Oh my god. That's just sound it, it sounds it crazy. It sounds crazy, man. It sounds crazy. Um, it was, it got real. 
<laughs> Torian says, uh, when I was in high school, so many people went to Cancun for spring break. Yeah, I remember that shit, man. I never I never had a chance, though, man. I wasn't one of the blessed ones, man. But I heard it was insane, though. Like, uh, what's that shit? Uh, oh, my fucking God. Uh, uh, Panama City. Everybody used to go to Panama City and shit like that in the panhandle. And that Burger King that was in there. Everybody told me stories about how many bitches they fucked in Panama and all that shit. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pretty nice, man. Pretty crazy. Um, Let's see here. Kendall says, Torian, there were... That's where me and my friends went. Oh, y'all went to Cancun? Kendall rich, bro. Yeah, Kendall got that bag. Kendall I got money. A, and she make yeah. her vegan cake and everything. Vegan, she make her vegan food. She get she gets it in. Yeah, shout out to OT. He was the first one to call that out, too, man. He called that. <laughs> shout out to Kendall, man. Love, baby, love. Uh, shout out to Kendall. She, she's loyal to everybody. Oh, God. Big um, shout out to Kendall. She be rapping. Heck yeah, uh, she a rider. Kendall real. says she in college. You in college now, Kendall? That's 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 something I ain't know. Okay. Um, Tori and Rain reloaded. Detroit, I can cook. <laughs> Kendall says she can cook. Detroit, what you talking about? Hello? I said she can. She can. She she can. That's why I said she can make her. She make her vegan food and everything. She get it in. I'm good. Um, Torian says, Kendall, that may be why I didn't go because I was not trying to run into people from school. Spring break, optimal word is break, as in a break for you. I mean, but that's the thing about it. When motherfuckers go or like kids go to these things, they want to feel like, oh, I, yeah, I remember that we went last weekend. I was there and they got, it, it's it's memory. It's something to have, like a story to have when you get older or like, you know, just talk about. You want to be in the in crowd, everybody go to spring break together or everybody from high school. Hell yeah. You know? Hell yeah. Some shit you can't tell you. Since you want to tell your kids about when they get older. Right. Like, who did this to who and who slept with who and all that shit and just drama, man. That's all a part of being a kid. Um, yeah. Torian says, okay. No, okay, so Kendall graduated. What college you went to, Kendall? Did they, y'all party, what, what college you went to? Where, where you from, Kendall? Let's figure this shit out, man. Kendall says she's from the East Coast. East Coast? Cool. Okay. From the East Coast all day. Hey. Yeah, we got 13 in the building, man, covering a dot, bro. Now we got 11, man. I guess they found out caught seeing them, but hey, man, hit that like button, sub up for everybody, man. Booby Traps, Detroit Kings, and Lazy Go Swan Five. That's me. Hit the like and sub for everybody, man. Um, 13 on a documentary ain't bad. Ain't gonna lie. Hit that like button, though, for real. Hit that like button. I know that I don't really hit the like button. Yeah, I gotta hit the like, man. Ain't nobody, be I don't, I don't be begging for no money, man. I just think no. y'all hit the like button. That's all I ask for, man. Jesus I want like, likes and subs. I don't want no fucking money. Likes and subs. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. Um, but yeah, what I'm saying, I'm, 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 we we gonna be on for like ten more minutes. It's not really much to talk about. It's a documentary about Freak Nick. Um, all well, I'm it's saying is to talk about, but you. <laughs> It's something to talk about. I mean, talk oh, then. Yeah, you can a whole talk lot to talk about, bro. It's go a, ahead and do it then. Y'all, y'all got this. Go ahead, go no, for I, it. I mean, go ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, do your thing, my bad. Now you started, you started. Go ahead, do your thing, bro. Uh, okay, okay. Um, let me see. Oh, I was just wondering. Okay, this is what I, uh, what I could say about uh, you know what I mean. Um, freak Nick, right? It was you know, black man, black woman started it. They wanted everything to go well it did go well until you know brought the outsiders in you really can't control that because that's it's like a free event you know what i mean you had rappers coming there luke changed the whole thing you know you know how he was gonna get down but what changed the thing for me is actually the 96 olympics when that came everything changed to the fact that well we don't need like my man broke it down you giving us 15 million but when you talking about uh uh um you know the the, the uh, Olympics coming, that's big big business. That's bigger than the Super Bowl, bro. That you talking about you talking about a billion. You talking about billions of dollars. Nigga, we talking about two billion dollars and about a spam of two three weeks. So you think they gonna pick? They 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 made sure they was gonna get rid of that dog. They was they ain't, they wasn't trying to patrol that no more, man. They ain't care less about it now. I mean, do you blame them? Shit. No, I, I actually shit? do blame them because if it wasn't for the freak nigga, it wouldn't be no Super Bowl. You think? Think about it, bro. I'm mad family that movie wow. down how the how the um the committee of the Olympics do. They don't just sit there and be like, "Well, we are gonna get one to China, 
We're going to go get one mm-hmm. in California. Bro, they come to your city. They come to you every see how city. It's popping. They see how it's popping. And really, if it wasn't for Freak Nick, y'all probably wouldn't even got considered. That's a fact. For real. Because that's what was bringing a whole bunch of y'all revenue in. You know what I mean? During the spring break time. When all the kids was going home. When everybody, you know what I mean? It wasn't nobody making bread at that time. So when Freak Nick came in, like you said, they was making millions. You talking mm-hmm. about vendors, restaurants, hotels, all that stuff. They was caking up off of Freak Nick. So y'all probably wouldn't even got considered. If, if, if y'all economy was, was that destitute at that time where y'all couldn't really make enough bread or y'all didn't have accommodations, then they wouldn't even consider y'all for, for the Olympics. So Freak Nick actually helped y'all out and y'all basically shit it on. If you put put like this, it ain't no two billion dollars. But if you go from ninety, I say the peak of, I say they, they start really making money or freak nigga around like in the nineties. If you if they say what 90, 90, 91, they made ten million dollars for Atlanta, then you got fifteen million dollars. Dog, fifteen yeah, fifteen million. If you put that together, ladies, you do know that add up to almost them that fifty million dollars, right? In all them years that it made for that city. Now it don't equal up to two billion dollars. I don't think that I don't think no, I don't even think the Super Bowl can get that. You know, what I mean, we talking about worldwide of Olympics mm-hmm. or people across the world. But you know what happened? The committee went to Atlanta, like my like uh, Paperboy said. They looked around, they saw how hyped it was. They said, "Hmm, we can really do something with this. Th- th- this economy is pretty good. We got nothing but black people here. Oh heck, it was the South. The weather is good." We know if we have the Olympics here, it's easier to get to. It's a big city. Yep. Oh, heck yeah. We're going to give it to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why wouldn't they do it? You look at Atlanta now. Yeah, Atlanta, I remember it's easy to make money in Atlanta right now. Why do you think Tyler Perry came to Atlanta? You need to watch this documentary. You, you, people don't like him, I understand, but it ain't about liking. It's about listening to what the man was saying, why he picked uh, Atlanta as a hub of where he go. It's a reason why Meach. Went to Atlanta, bro. They told you in BMF why they was doing it. Mm-hmm. Why he wanted to go there. Yeah, when um, I remember when um, the Olympics came to Atlanta, man. I was a little kid. I was like in first grade type shit. So, and they had the Atlanta Reebok. I had the Olympic Reeboks and shit. Everybody was wearing the Reeboks and shit. I remember that shit back in the nineties. But um, yeah, I was they a did kid, all though. that. And what happened? What happened at the Olympics that year? Hey, somebody. It was a terrorist attack. Exactly. That's where it was. I remember that. That's wild. Uh, that was that, that's a crazy part. That was a legendary one too, though, because that's when Muhammad Ali had held you know, the torch. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Ali, I remember all of that, bro. That was crazy. My little brother and sister was down there at that time with they pop, and they was calling. You know, what I mean, telling me all the stuff that was going on there, taking pictures, bro. Y'all did all that just to get a bad name to the point where y'all will never see another Olympic again. All because of that whole security wasn't tight. The Unabomber was there, did his, did what he did, and messed everything up. They never gonna get Olympics again. They know that too. They they security was shitty. And they didn't even give no type of effort on the security because if the security was up the breach, it that would have never happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kendall said that's true, but you know the bottom line when it comes to politics and business. <laughs> For that, but that's what I'm saying. They, you know, what I mean, like, and that's why when they, when they they didn't want to get rid of Freaknik because they said we can you we know we're gonna get this two billion dollars, but we can use this extra ten million dollars. This is chump change for us, and um, but we ain't gonna we not gonna secure anything, so we ain't gonna be no police. That's one, of the, and I'm not gonna say the word because you two. That's one of the reasons why. That woman almost got, you know, what happened to her. Lucky enough, if it wasn't for no black man that that took up for it, it would have happened. Because they was no police. Trying to, they were so busy trying to make sure they didn't have fun that they wasn't even making sure security was tight. <laughs> wow, That's wild. Um, uh, the woman Curtis like said, she said, if they wouldn't have did what they did, she could have got to a party where she would have been safe. Because all her friends was there. But instead, they rerouted her all the way over to the south side where all that shit went down. 
Yeah. That's a fact. And she was going to Marietta type shit. Yeah, I know exactly where she was going. Exactly. Uh, from Rome, man. What's up, Romy Rome? He waiting on me to do some sports. We're going to be back on, man, with sports. Uh, He said, Fist University was having Lamonye Owens College was hell, LOL. I don't know if that's some, is that some Michigan stuff, Detroit? Lemoyne, Lemoyne, bro. Lemoyne, my <laughs> boy, bad. Lemoyne, Lemoyne. Sorry. <laughs> My bad, man. Yeah, yo, that sound like that sound like. <laughs> well, Lamont, that ain't no, that ain't no, that ain't no Michigan college, my brother. We ain't got no black college in Michigan. Oh, y'all don't. That's crazy. One. Wow, we had that's one, crazy. it was called Lewis College of Business, but it, it ain't no HBU though. That's crazy because I would think Michigan was like a like a uh, not no Detroit, Michigan was like a black like I don't know. That's 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 interesting. In the sixties though, it, it's it's still black, but. You gotta understand, back like Michigan is racist too, going to the like the up north and shit like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it ain't no black college, but a lot of people, it, it could be one that. That's the crazy part, though. Like if it was a black college, it'd be booming. Because when I think about Detroit, I think about just like black people, even oh, it was, the no, suburbs. That's what it is. You you gonna think about black people because they there? But I'm just saying, <laughs> far as like 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 up north is a lot of racist stuff. That's all I'm, I mean. Like racist people. That's all I'm saying. It is. It's racist. It's racist and all. Don't get it. People get it twisted just because they think up north and yeah, yeah. It's more tolerant. It'd be some racist people out there too. Don't get it twisted at all. Oh, that like really. button. That like. Uh, Torian Rain says, "Shout out to Dominique Dawes. Who is that? Dominique Dawes is Dominique a, Dawes? Uh, the gymnast. Bro? Yeah, the gymnast. Yeah. 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 Well, okay. Uh, Romy Rome says, "92 Fisk six to women lay moan in the middle of the projects." Oh, oh, six to one woman. Okay, ninety. Okay, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm lost, he bro. Like, he typing like he <laughs> in the in the in the pen or something. <laughs> I think Romy Rome, man. That's Romy Rome, man. Oh Lord, have mercy. six to one. Hey, come on, more was popping. Yeah. For real, for sure. Um, yeah. well, I mean, um, Outcast came up a lot off of that. Off of uh, very true. Yeah, you know what I mean with them, with them out there doing they doing they promos, they street teams and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. they came up. You had a lot of artists come up off of that. That was kind of like almost like going to a Jack the Rapper or something like that. It was kind of like an impromptu convention because a lot of rappers was doing it just like basically like like going to a homecoming. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean? and they have a lot of acts there. So a lot of acts gonna go there because they know it's Frick Nick. It's basically it's it's spring break. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody gonna be there, famous or not. So that's you know what I mean? that's that's why I was popping during them years before '96. When Luke was coming, when Biggie was coming, with all you know, what I mean, with all them was coming up there. So, yeah, it it, it was fire, man. It was fire. I wish I you know, they, they 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 say if you could, you want to do a time machine. I I boo, I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna have to go back to the time machine. I wish I can go to some freak needs, bro. I I do that for that. Man. Oh yeah, for sure. A nigga like me can't be in a place like that, bro. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? I'm, I'm crazy, nigga. Bro. I'm feeling everything, booby. Everything getting touched. <laughs> he he touch the head head. Head. Fondle bag. Oh damn, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Show me something. I show nah. you something. Shit. What's up? What's up? That's what they was doing though. Mm-hmm. They was, and they was, they was wide open with it. Like the other freaking. I mean, this one was tame because it was. It's Hulu. We know Hulu is owned by Disney, so. Mm -hmm. They can only show. They only going to show so much. Yeah, okay, I say that. Yeah. And if it, if anything, if Luke he said he go, he got footage. He still got footage, which I mm -hmm. think it's going to be for a documentary. If I was him, I would put that bitch on Max, Netflix, mm -hmm. or uh, or and Prime. You could do all it. Like, with, oh, it's ooh, other you... freak Nick. It's other freak Nick docs out there that actually be showing. Yes, what was going on? <laughs> so. Those will probably be your best bet to actually see what was really jump. I mean, this you get the gist of it. It's not like we don't know exactly what was going. It was freaking. But if you want to see uncut raw footage, 
of what was going on of all them them, them cameras that you were seeing in the streets. Yeah, you can go online and see a whole bunch of documentaries just like this one that was that was a lot more uh right to the point with it. Wow. Yeah, but I would probably I would probably say if you want to paint what Freak Nick was like from the stories I hear from my um people in my family, it's like a black version of the girls going wild, basically. You feel me? That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was spring break. It's black spring break. So all the yeah. shit you see at spring break with, with uh Daytona Beach, all that whatever or, or Miami, you already know all that stuff. They they definitely doing all of that. So hey, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, we're gonna do it a little while though, because hey, exactly. Right. You know how we Torian Rain says, I mentioned Dominique because she was in 1996 Olympics in Atlanta and she a DMV native via Silver right. Spring. Okay. Yep. Okay. Representing this area. Um, Kendall said, join the Discord. You already know. Hit that Discord link. It's right there on the screen. Go ahead and handle that business. Man. So, so. Um, Romy Rome said, Jam Pony Express. I feel like that's a Luke song. <laughs> oh, no. That nigga over there, Romy Ron, he was there, man. I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that he said Luke brought he put the freak in freak knee. Yo, for real. He yeah, said it was a freak knee, but it wasn't a freak knee until Luke showed up. Right. Ooh, uh, ooh. Don't stop, get it, get it. Don't stop, get it, get it. Much I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to rock. Yeah. <laughs> I want to rock right now. I want to rock right now. What's y'all, hey man? I'm gonna say this, bro. Like, it's a lot of shit. I, I'm not surprised that they try to shut it down. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you know when a bunch of black people was together, and that's to this day, with a bunch of black people got gather together to either gang banging or about to shoot out or something like that. You know, this is the way the world is. I'm convinced. But when they we don't that. see that, it's a problem if they do or if they don't, because Freaknik, they it wasn't nobody doing none of that. Everybody was just having fun. It was just a big ass block party. It wasn't mm-hmm. sanctioned by them, so they had a problem with that because it wasn't sanctioned by them. They wasn't controlling it. It wasn't until the Olympics came that they actually started trying to control it with the police. Because mm-hmm. once you see before before the Olympics came in, you see all the videos. It wasn't a whole lot of police around. Mm-hmm. They just let them no. rock. There's like no. they bring in money. They bring in money to the city. Leave them alone. Let them rock. Let them do what they're doing. Right. They ain't getting a whole bunch of crimes. They probably had a, a small crime here or there, but it wasn't shooting. It wasn't none of that uh essay going on. It wasn't none of that stuff going on. So therefore they let them do what they do. But until that, once they got that Olympic bid, it was like, oh no, we gotta shut this down. We gotta control it. We gotta come on now. Money rules the world, my nigga. It do. <laughs> It do, I get it, but it, but it was really them that messed it up because if they didn't do what they did, it just would have went on like it usually did. Wow. You know what I mean? Besides, besides all the old heads getting involved, you know what I mean? And then on top of that, the pressure from the cops with them redirecting everybody, everybody sitting in traffic, it's hot. You feel me? Everybody sitting in the car for hours. It's taking you two hours to get to the end of the block. <laughs> you feel me? Like, come on. Wow. Oh. And you already know how, uh, bro. I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but niggas in heat don't, you know what I mean? He, niggas heat and yeah. bad emotions don't mix. It was just, I'm like just balls ready to get a pop. Them, them, niggas was, them niggas was horny, man. Yeah. <laughs> them, them niggas, they, and the females was horny too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then that, that, that Olympus changed it all. They said, well, we got them, we got what we want out of these niggas. Mm-hmm. Well, let's focus on this. And then that's why this that's mm-hmm. why that, that happened. They had never get a big event like the well, they did get the Super Bowl, but that's nothing but far. Like but you know, they as suffered as... after that too, because y'all y'all done killed the, the Olympics are only gonna come around every once in a in a lifetime. Frickin' mm-hmm. could have went on forever, and y'all could have kept getting that economy boosted every spring break. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. They got that. They got that two billion, that one billion dollars they got, and they said, "Well, you know, we don't want that no more." But then when they left, and the, and the people, the the Olympics uh, committee, they they bash Atlanta. They said that's one of the most horrible cities they've been to. Exactly, they ain't never coming back there again. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I tell you what, y'all niggas talk about Atlanta. Uh, the Olympics don't want to go to Chicago at all. 
Let's talk about that. Nah. I think they are going to Chicago. I think they got – They're not. To the they, they, pat, they did. They, they did. They, 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 no, they, they, they did? They're, they're, yes. They, look it up. They revoted. I don't know. Is this new? I already passed on it. I mean, well, what I see, they the, um, they got it in like in two thousand and and thirty or something like that. But if they, I think, but if they did, if they did, if they did, my I, my bad, you know what I mean. They my bad. Change, I apologize. They changed their mind. They probably changed their mind. Then yeah. So my child, I, don't know. I think Chicago is really like it's all about. If you, you got to go to Chicago to understand that, it, like downtown Chicago, it's beautiful. It's not about to be in the hood, bro. That's all I problem. know is they ain't doing it in Chicago right now. Not with all the damn sanctuary city jumping off. Oh no, they ain't doing it with the migrants. The, migrants, the whole the bunch of damn migrants in Chicago right now. So they definitely yeah. ain't rocking with them. Mm-hmm. That's a that's um you talking about what happened in Atlanta with a with a with the bombing and terrorists, bro. Y'all got a whole bunch of unsanctioned, undocumented people out there. You don't know who's who and who's doing what. That's what. Hey, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> right. Kendall <laughs> says, I've been in busy traffic, no problem, but my goodness, that backup traffic was crazy. Yeah, talking about Freak Nick. Yeah, I bet it was. Yeah. Shit. Um, yeah, Atlanta, Atlanta traffic is already atrocious anyway. Atlanta mm-hmm. traffic to this day is still horrible. Exactly. <laughs> so I ain't surprised. Miss Kara Speaks says, Uncle Luke was the beginning of the end, too. Yeah, what y'all feel about that? I mean, they was already freaking before Luke got there, but uh, I mean, he <laughs> definitely to another level. He, I mean, I'm just being real that he they was the years before he got there, they was already in the streets showing and doing this and doing that, you know what I mean? And come on, man, getting numbers. They was hanging out, they was hanging out the cars and hanging out the windows and you know, on in the Jeep shaking and all that other stuff. They was doing all that stuff before. I mean, he just added a new element to it and now they had now they had a soundtrack to do it to all right absolutely we um, see that's the problem that, hold on that's the problem we yeah we came but you know career I, I rock what you have we can't blame luke for everything because like Perry boy said they was already was about to get out of there anyway with no security and no we can't see that's the problem and i'm not trying to i'm, I'm just 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 opinion I i'm not throwing shots at nobody that's what we do not me though i don't know about on this panel but that's what people mm-hmm. do is try to like if it, if something gets shut down, they like to blame their own people. They was gonna shut it down anyway. It was just mm-hmm. only a matter of time. And when the Olympics got there, you heard what the, the Red Dog started to get the, the memo to get the drugs out of Atlanta as much as they could, and what else to get these black people far away. And we, we done made enough money. We don't need y'all fifteen ten million dollars no more. We gonna get this two billion dollars. They was already but trying to figure out a way to get that anyway. And then what made it worse, the the um that lady, you know, what I mean, almost got, you know, you know, uh, you know, I ain't gonna say the word, but she almost mm-hmm. got what happened to her. And then you start letting these 60 year old, 40 year old man that's not college students come up in there and, and, and try to infiltrate the whole thing. Try to get in there and get free. Old head, 40, 50, 30. Late 30s, 40, 50 year old men and women out there on, on the prowl. Exactly. And Luke, <laughs> and, Luke was, and Luke wasn't the one that was doing it. The Luke wasn't the one that was telling them to do it. They did it on their own. These mm-hmm. these had these women, 40 year old women and men with camcorders going and just doing dumb stuff when it was really for it's really for college students. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, OG now says the Olympic sites still generate money in other cities other than Atlanta. Do y'all feel about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. Yeah, we said that, but back then, mm-hmm. two being a two being, you heard what they said in the documentary, man. Go back and watch it. OG he said two million dollars. I mean, two billion dollars. Mm-hmm. When you heard the billy, man, mm-hmm. you get these black people out of here, you know. What back I mean? then, like, in the 90s, a billy was. Bro, y'all, man, and you, you saw the whole city was out there like they won the lottery when uh, when they when they knew the Olympics was coming. It was basically like they they won the lottery. They down there thought Jesus was coming the way they was that you saw the mayor was dancing. You know mm-hmm. what that do for your economy? Think about it. If you get the, right now, if they get uh, uh, the, the um the Washington D.C. get 
uh, uh, um, Olympics, right? And they say that you're going to get up to a whopping um, $8 billion. Nigga, you do know that billion dollars can, can change your economy for the next, that eight billion could change for the next 10 years. The only difference is that uh, it definitely wouldn't go down like it go down in Atlanta because DC oh, would no. be shut down. <laughs> oh, for sure. Shut <laughs> down <laughs> ASAP. They gonna have military on every corner. <laughs> hey, military. <laughs> already, I'm saying, bro. Our, the police force is already been damn near militarized. You go in the subway and they got, bro. They got choppers. They got M16s. They got all that stuff. We talking about sub. We talking about metro police on on the on the subway, bro. They walking through with dogs and and big sticks, bro. Like <laughs> no bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Absolutely. Uh, Torian says the Olympics is going to be in LA in 2028. Wow, food for thought. Didn't know that, man. Hey. You already know they're going. They already getting it together right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. They ain't going to be no more Atlanta shit. That shit ain't happening in 28. That's going to be a whole mm -hmm. nother president election cycle. So, yeah, we're going to see how that go. They well, they definitely gonna have L A. They gonna have L A. They gonna have that. They gonna have a. That's a big city too. You gonna have every uh, secret agent, uh, undercover everything. They ain't gonna let it go down like it did in the in the eighties mm -hmm. when they when the Olympics was there in the eighties. Mm -hmm. You see what they try to do? Go back in snowfall when they try when all, they saw them homeless people. They pushed them homeless people to shelters and was killing them homeless people and everything. And then they took the Olympics. Yeah, get them out of here. We got to make it look like it's clean. Yeah, gotta make it look like it's clean. Cause, cause these, cause those people in the Olympics, they be they they they, they got some people they stay there for like two years. Seeing they get paid to stay there for like two years, just like this on um, the Super Bowl committee to see if this this to see how the city uh, progressing, how how like if any changes mm -hmm. they go back to their boss and be like yo they doing this they doing that the crime getting bad and then if they if they hear any uh, some more bad things that's on in the city. You know what they do? They go sit to the there runner up. And, and they go to the winner up. So you know what I mean? Just because you just because you win, don't mean that you gotta keep you gotta consistently get in your city cleaned up. Mm -hmm. They giving you four years to do it. Yeah. More than that to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh we got real shit. We got Pafel De Nero Beast in the building. What up, bro? You ain't been around in a minute. What's going on? He says so Nero what's Beast in the building. You? Nero. Uh -oh. sure. Jay uh -oh. Sean Brown, what's going uh, on? He must be doing this too. He must be. He must, okay. Ah, uh, Jay yeah, Sean Brown, replay. yeah, right. Not right now. Yeah, stop stealing, man. All right, man. I, I'm trying. I don't know. I'm trying to get changed, man. This, <laughs> niggas keep trying well, me every day. Be bro. honest with you, man. I'm a this NWO right here, man. Want to have the NWO, man? Um, mm -hmm. stop stealing people content, man. I wake up and see the old man that took me and Brillo. What we do, man? The mm. on the Lucia's trash. He flipped. I'm gonna tell you about it. Um, um, I'm gonna send it to you, paper boy, man. I'm sitting wow. there thinking to myself, like, bro, you stealing, man? God oh, he just stole some more. Yes, I, man. I ain't learned. I ain't learned this lesson. I ain't learned this lesson. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm getting. I'm gonna have to jump out the window. You know you what already, I mean? See, like, I'm, I'm already jumped out the window. No parachute. I don't give a damn. You see how Jesus I've been going Christ. at it. I don't care, bro. And and I, and obviously, I'm, I'm making waves because, you know what I mean? You mm -hmm. got people over there throwing subliminals because they scared to mm -hmm. say names. I don't give a damn what I'm saying. You throwing subliminals, you making it. Throwing subliminals, to be honest with you, is kind of weak because if you, if you, this just me when people throw subliminals, right? You throwing subs is actually is you are you why you saying you don't watch nobody. You actually watch the content because you saying the man's name. You throwing subs. You might always say the name. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't, you, you, I mean, it's obvious that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But yeah, like OG said, he said facts. They the committee members are all finally exactly. So if mm -hmm. if you if you don't get them them streets clean and build them businesses. And the way they want to build, you will be a uh, runner up, uh, uh, yeah. Chicago, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, San Diego. I mean, um, um, Brooklyn, New York, or, New or something like that. Y'all, y'all, y'all ready? Brooklyn, New York. I that mean, bro, to be honest with you, the Brooklyn yeah. is the, 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 the borough is bigger 
it's the biggest borough. You, you know what I mean? It can hold the Olympus, my brother, in New York. They got they the Barclays. Bitch, they put that bitch in Seattle. Seattle. They can they do it in Seattle, too, if they really wanted to. For it sure. don't have to be no super big, big city like that. They can. Long as your city is clean and it's, it's um, restaurants and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you good to go. Yep. You got to have an economy. You got to have a nice economy. You got to be able to accommodate everybody. You got to have a whole bunch of hotels. You know what I mean? It, it's got to be it, it's got to it's got to be to the point where they can actually function and do what they got to do cuz you got athletes, you got other people, you know what I mean, committees, you got a whole bunch of other people coming, athletes, state trainers, people mm -hmm. coming from out of town. You have to have a lot of hotels. You got to be able to accommodate something that big. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You are in trouble. You ain't even being. You're not even being looked at <laughs> unless you got that. Exactly. They're gonna laugh mm -hmm. at you. They're gonna laugh at you like ha 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 ha. They're gonna do that. They're not gonna. They ain't gonna even. They're gonna be like, man, get out of our face. Miss mm -hmm. huh. Kira speaks says I didn't blame him for everything. Just saying, you got worse around then. Oh, talking about Luke Skywalker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, it did get worse. I agree with what she's saying, but they always gonna blame the rapper for everything. I don't like when people they not saying anybody, I just saying how they do us. Like that, like prime example, right? Like when straight out of Compton comes, somebody got they somebody was fighting, they they report that quick. But when that situation happened with Batman, they mm -hmm. wanted to hide it under the rug. When that when somebody actually died because this weirdo went in there and killed people in the theater. Mm hmm Report that. Y'all so y'all if it was a black man, y'all be ready to get us up out of there. Yeah. But they ain't they ain't but they, they ain't stop showing Batman movies though, goddamn. Oh no, they <laughs> so, ain't showing they ain't gonna stop showing no Batman so, movies. Just, exactly. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't just like we were saying earlier though, was caring for real. It wasn't really on loop. It was more of it was more of it, it was more people there that wasn't supposed to be there. You had people from the streets. That wasn't in college. It's supposed to be a college event. You had people yeah. in the streets that wasn't from college. You had a lot of older people there that wasn't in college. They was just there to have a good time like they was out clubbing and, and reliving their youth or whatever the case may be. And stuff got out of hand. You know what I mean? That's what it really was. But it, it wasn't when they came. When, by the time Luke got there, it wasn't a college event. No. Wow. Mm. It was a city event. You know what I mean? It was a city event. It was people coming from other other parts of the country, other states, Ooh. were migrating to Atlanta just to go to Freaknik. So it wasn't it wasn't just him. He was a very very small part, if any, Whoa. of why okay. things were going on. If anything, he, the Luke situation they was already at his peak. Freaknik before that, he yep. even came along. That's why he came because it was it was popping. Exactly. Miss Kira, hey, exactly. hey, exactly. hey, yo, a hey, movie, exactly. What they like? If it ain't popping, he wasn't gonna be there. No rapper <laughs> was gonna be there. Exactly. <laughs> like that's. Yeah, what I think like. Biggie I ain't trying to be. Hold on one minute. I ain't trying to be funny, but everything Paperboy said is nothing but hundred percent fact. That nigga Luke wasn't coming there if it was a dud. <laughs> he. It was already. It was already. I'm gonna be. I ain't trying to put the cape on for Luke. It was already in bad shape. He was already doing stuff before he even got there. He just, <laughs> hey, Same. Biggie! Biggie was performing there too. Biggie was performing there and shit for free, for free, bro. For free, for free. exactly. For free. Yeah. And Biggie was, and Biggie wasn't even in his prime when he was doing it. No, that was like right when he was still on tour, doing tours for uh for Ready to Die. Like when it was first coming up, before it even got right when it right around the time it was getting released, that's when he was going. I remember all that. I was on that leg. I, I saw him in PA, him and Mob Deep that year. Yeah. Kendall said that Tamika going live for trivia night. Okay. Shout out to Tamika Ding. Go up to Tamika Ding. Go enjoy that trivia. Definitely. Go up to Tamika Ding. <laughs> Definitely got going on over there. I see that. I ain't been on the trivia night in a hot minute. Bro. Yeah, sure. Go, go hit that like button over there, man. For real, for real. Definitely. Uh, Miss. Miss Kira speaks says I agree. There were people there, there that, that didn't belong there. Yes. What do you think about that? Well, oh yeah, that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She she was she was one hundred percent. 
She was mm-hmm. right. I mean, we, we that's the main person that need to get penalized for it. Not mm-hmm. the rappers. Is these 60 year old, 40 year old man and woman mess in kids business. Mm-hmm. So stage y'all ass out at the cookout. But y'all want to go down there with all the young folks and yeah, see what's going on. Party. Try to pop, pop your little, yeah, yeah okay. Pop that pussy, yeah, baby. Dude, for real. <laughs> and and, and you know how, and I'm going to say freaking. this. And you know how Luke got there? Because he found out them grown men was there. Mm-hmm. And women. He said, you know what? Well, what do I got to do? I could put, well, I'm a, well, I could promote a video and get this money. I got my black people out there. They around my age now. Cause think yeah. about it. Why would Luke go down there with a uh, was having a bunch of women shake his ass when he was down there 35, 30 years, 33 years old at the time when that happened? Mm-hmm. How would that make him look? Biggie was right. people don't understand. Biggie wasn't no 20 years. Biggie was young. Yeah. Biggie died at 25, 24 years old. He was in his, I think Biggie, when that happened, Biggie was like 19, 20 years old, mm-hmm. bro. So he, that was mm-hmm. around his that was around his age. Tupac was the same age. That's why they was there. Luke yep. was older than him. Luke was in his was like his he was 34 years old. So why would he be there? Mm-hmm. Get it popping because it was already jumping. He was just yep. trying to he was just he was just trying to take it to the next level. He's like, okay, it's it's part. They partying just like they do down where we from. And you already know he from Florida. So he already know how the spring breaks get out there. And now it's a black spring break in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Come mm-hmm. on now. That, that's a no-brainer, bro. That's a fact. Free that's, a fact. that's what uh, Kendall said. Yep. Mm-hmm. I would have did. I'm going to be honest with you. I would have did the same thing if that's what type of rapper I would. Luke yeah. was, and I know this, but Luke was doing this before freaking, like around the eighties. That booty music, mm-hmm. shake booty shaking music. That's what mm-hmm. he did with the two live crew. You think he, you think he was gonna, bro? That was a perfect time. Remember, you know, only me and Payboy. No disrespect, I know you a little bit. We a little bit older. You back then in the eighties, Luke was doing that, and then he kind of slowed down. But back in the nineties, he picked back up when the um. But don't stop, get it, get it, and that mm-hmm. fit perfect with Freak Nick. He would, he would. That they, video he had to slow down because he was he was ahead of his time. So, you know, what I mean, he was ahead of his time with a lot of that shit, and that's when the government tried to slow him down when he was banned, and he had that joint banned in the USA because they tried to ban all his music, and he slowed down. And then, then he went, then after that, that's when he came back around the time I remember he was on that New Jack City soundtrack, and then around that time, that's when. He just exploded back on the scene with a whole bunch of other stuff. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm about to send uh, uh OG to he want the link. Hang on. Pop that pussy, baby. I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to rock right now. Doodle <laughs> Brown. Doodle Brown. Head. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was he was ahead of his time. Here, lizard, 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 lizard. Here, lizard, lizard. Got something for you. <laughs> Lizzo would have been right there shaking her butt. <laughs> <laughs> that, that freaked me. Yeah, disgusting, bro. I'm just not even gonna lie right now. He fucked I mean, it up. It, 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 up. it is disgusting, but. She would have been there. They, it was some big girls mm-hmm. down there shaking her butt. They butt. They was. They, they was all in all type of form. Thick, skinny, real big, or whatever. They didn't mm-hmm. matter. They was there. Trying to do their thing. Trying to get it in. You already know what it is. Party trying, time. Tr- trying to get it in, bro. Mm. That's what it was. Baggy thong, huh? Old heads. Old oh, heads me. looking for a young girl to trick on. Young chicks looking for, I mean, old old women looking for somebody to prowl on. Looking for them young. On the trying to, trying to, on. out there, that was around what? Stella, <laughs> that was around the Stella got a groove back time. Stella too. got a, yeah. You yeah. couldn't tell them nothing. You couldn't tell them trying nothing, to get, bro. Trying to get freaky up there. Uh huh. They out there looking for their own, looking mm-hmm. for, they, mm-hmm. for a Tay Diggs. They damn so. That's why they was down there. They had no business being down there. OG knowledge in the building. What up? What up? Yo, what's up? What's up, fellas? What up, bro? Yo, you now here come oh, the veteran of the freak Nick. It's me. 
<laughs> I went to my first uh, one when I was 15. Oh, so I started young. They was letting everybody in that boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, but to go back, I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why it got a little bit out of hand. It was not just because how the older people were down there. What happened was the like fraternities, which had the younger cats, right? They start calling their older brothers to come down there. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Because that's one thing that my uncle, my uncles and them, they took me down there because a lot of their fraternity brothers, you know, would tell them. So that's how come the older dudes were down there. The young dudes were calling them down there because the older dudes were bringing, they were bringing the beer, they were bringing the liquor, they were bringing the good weed too. And it just went totally ballistic. But like, you know, Paige was saying, you had the local older people who couldn't really handle it neither because you had the dudes down there because when I first seen it, I was like, damn, this dude's like 50 and 60 out there creeping up, you know, behind girls is like 19 and 20 just sitting there pumping them. So, you know, that shit was off the chain, man. Mm-hmm. It definitely was. It definitely was. And, you know, I... I had some people who told me family members, yeah, they cleaned that shit up quick and they did it fast. And they weren't playing. <laughs> they weren't playing. Oh, they, they, we they, gonna they, get they off billions. Getting they going to get them billions. Hell yeah, we yeah. got y'all black dollar. Y'all got to go. But what? But I'm going to tell you what like messed them up. If they wouldn't have never had that bombing, if that white fool wouldn't have never did, did that bombing, they would have still been generating more income off of their old Olympic Park than what they're doing now. Yeah. Because yeah, right yeah. now, they didn't turn that thing into a little splash park area. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Out there no more because they think that's going to happen again. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They wasn't worried about security. They didn't have security on a lot. Right. And you think about how much LA is still generating money off of all their venues from 1984. Oh, Mm-hmm. They eating. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell you how big business it is, right? Uh, the NFL draft will be here on, I think it's April 24th or 5th, something like that, right, y'all? I, it's gonna be here. It's already letting it be known. They got the spot downtown. They got a whole bunch of stuff at the airport, bro. You know how much money that the the uh, Detroit, the city, about to make off that, bro? They about to make in in two days. I think the draft is what. Thursday, Friday, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. About three days. four days. It's three mm-hmm. days. They about to make at least about 50, at least about a good maybe 40 to $50 million in three days, man, off that alone. Yeah, but 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 like Detroit, you think about it, they're going to be there a whole week, though. Yeah, they, yeah, like the ESPNs. Yeah, they, they they're going to be there a week. Mm-hmm. They're going to yeah. have everything. They're going to have like the thing where the kids can come out and go to the thing. It's just like the Super Bowl again. Mm-hmm. Big fact. Yeah. And that's why everybody be like, I want the NFL draft to be here. Yeah, because it's gonna make you a lot of money. It's gonna and then when you that that city get generated that money, a lot of stuff started to get built in the city. You got a whole bunch of billionaires like yo, I enjoyed uh Maryland or uh, uh, North Carolina. So mm-hmm. I think about uh, I'm thinking about getting me a uh, building a, a Chick-fil-A here. You get an extra mm-hmm. business here. Yeah, that's a fact. Like whoever I did, whoever I did was to put a football team in Vegas. Very intelligent. Very fucking. Oh, for sure. They about to, be, NBA they about to put a basketball team there yeah. too. It's mm-hmm. because very intelligent. It's because of sports betting. Sports yep. really Vegas. The only reason why they were scared of Vegas for the longest, they were scared that the mafia was going to get so deep involved in trying to poison that team. But now the sports betting is the way that it is now and it's legal, the mafia mm-hmm. cannot control that. So why not put a right. team in Vegas? The sports betting is controlled by a corporate interest. That's right. Then then they're they're better off the same way. The same mm-hmm. I mean the same thing with everything right now. You know what I mean? They they mm-hmm. they used to ban weed as soon as weed was legalized. They ain't have to worry about that. They, they pushed all the dealers out. They pushed all the people that was actually doing it illegally out. You still got some people that's mm-hmm. doing it legally, but they're not gonna make as much bread as Mm-mm. as as they would as if, if they had a dispensary. So right. 
Hey, hey, paper. I gotta say his name because it is what it is. But like I, was, <laughs> like I was, I was trying to say that. Like I was trying to tell Key, right? I was trying to tell this guy that he come. Oh man, the players in the NBA they're gonna get hurt. I'm like, bro, they about to get. I said, man, if it ain't for the fans and and buying these jerseys and buying these tickets, I said they don't get no money. And people watching it, they ain't gonna get no money because I said. And then I then football. The next, I'm telling you, uh, Payboy, the next day. <laughs> The football NFL came out. The cap space about to go. I mean, the cap about to go up because mm-hmm. people was watching football. It was at an all time high. I'm like, bro, if yeah. you watch it, if the fans are watching this stuff and buying tickets and sport and all type of stuff, trust me. The next on um, go around the next um season, the cap space gonna go up at least twenty percent. Mm-hmm. It yeah. went up. To, it went up forty percent from the NFL yeah. because you people was the watching. Revenue. It's revenue. revenue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the it's football this this year was at an all time high. Why you think the basketball was? They was complaining about losing money because what mm-hmm. nobody watching the TV. The TV rays is, is mean a lot because ESPN mm-hmm. like yo. If ain't nobody watching, why is we spending money promoting this stuff? You got ad dollars. Why mm-hmm. you think stars and, and lions that that shit hurt with lion i mean them losing like that they don't have a backer no more so now they got to put their own money they really got to depend on their app because you think about it why you think uh um amazon prime um hbo max got ad dollars because that ad dollars gonna help them get that money because y'all gonna pay y'all gonna pay for the ads or not but somebody ain't gonna be like you know what I don't want to see no ass, so I'm, I'm gonna have to pay the extra money. Pay the extra money for that. Yep, to get no ass. Right. Damn right. It's all about money, cause brother, don't say it with it. Cause if if HBO lose four million subscribers tomorrow, they gonna go down on the pro. They gonna go down from twenty twenty five dollars to damn near to, uh, fourteen dollars. Mm-hmm. Cause they are mm-hmm. gonna try to get the people back. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's Real right. Fast. That's right. That's how it goes. Yeah. It's all about the get back. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. You already know what type of time we on, man. We stretched out this documentary for a good hour and seven minutes, man. This is the type of shit we do over here, at TVC. Um, support all these beautiful black content creators that are working with us tonight. Um, Booby Traps, Detroit Kings, and me, Lazy oh. Storm Five, uh, Brillo the Big Review, uh, Jeremiah the Canadian Plug, Tamika Den, everyone. You know what I'm saying? And the OG, the no OG hard feelings. OG, KPG, OG, nah, right. OG, Miss K. You know what I mean. She, shout OG. out to OT. Shout out to all of them, man. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. 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 Um, we here. We're about to get up out of nowhere. Exactly. Nowhere. Uh, movie traps. What, what you got coming up for your channel, bro? Hey, Aries season. You already know. Tomorrow, every day, every day, throughout the whole Aries season. Until 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 my sign ain't, ain't here no more for the for this uh this calendar. Yeah, every day mm-hmm. you're gonna get an airy season episode. We're gonna live. So definitely stay tuned. I can show you back. Oh, it's my third live uh, today, baby. Oh, Damn, working man. hard, man. That's what's up. He said he was. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh um messy Monday on, on Mondays. I'm gonna record. I might. I'm. I, you know what? Though I, I'm. A, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna have to send it. The uh, the uh, the voice and um stuff. Ma- the manual to uh, Paperboy for season three. I know. I me and Dante, we collabing on um X Men '97. So I'm waiting on him to do his part, and I'm gonna do my part, and then I'm gonna drop that that episode one and two, and then I'm gonna try to get Booby to do it. You know what I mean? Edit it and all that type of stuff to get episode uh episode, episode three, three out the yeah. way. Gotcha. You know That's what I mean? Right. I'm gonna send it over. You know, L, you don't you if you watch it, you it could be it, the same thing can happen, but you don't really watch it though. So it's all uh mm-hmm. and me and Paperboy are gonna be up there uh, covering oh. the boys too. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on that last episode so, 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 so we can do that walking dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Walking dead too. Oh yeah. yeah. Do that whole I watch the boys. I watch the boys, bro. I'm gonna cover in that oh, too. Yeah. Shit, y'all want me up there? I'll be up there. Oh no, we, we, I didn't there. know if you watched it or not. My bad. Yeah, OG knowledge. What you got coming up for your channel, man? I'm just gonna be doing some shorts, and um, I got um something quick to say. I want to um to send out 
a little bit of support to the um young lady, um Samaya Spain in Brooklyn, who was stabbed and killed. Um, um, all of us, you know, black content creators, and from our you know family to yours, we send out our prayers. I'm just saying, you know, out here for these females, man. If a dude come up to you and he trying to get that number, give him a fake number and just keep it moving. Don't so fight right. with nobody. Your life life is too short. We got two beautiful young women, twins, one gone and the one left here because somebody's thirsting because the chick turns them down. So, you know, we, we got to tighten up in our community and, you know, protect these young ladies. Mm-hmm. For sure. That's horrible. God horrible. protect each other, man. For it's real. Right. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. That's what Kate always saying. We got to protect each other. Man, oh, exactly. Um, I don't know who raised these, who's raised these men, bro. I just don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, we got to get up out of here. What yeah. the fuck, bro? I don't y'all, it, it, hold on. Before, before, we, before we go. You know what I mean? Cause I'm I might be playing GTA. You know what I mean? They got whatever like that. But cause we I got a we got a little claim going on. But uh, I'm gonna say this, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, even if you don't you know rock with me and nothing, I'm talking about the ladies. I mean, EJ, make sure you have your weapon, PG, uh, Tamika, Dim, Moochie, Miss K, and, 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 and all the ladies. In, I mean, you can't, uh, um, Candy. I don't care if you if y'all got a husband, a boyfriend. Now, y'all need to get y'all pistols because. This this immigrant situation is getting out of hand. I keep telling y'all that, you, you know. What I mean, you ain't, you know, I'm, y'all don't got, y'all don't have to agree on my views, or like, or like me, or something like that. But I don't want to see wake up in the morning and seeing something in the Discord saying one of the people that we know is gone. So, yeah. Mooch, y'all, y'all, y'all need to get y'all y'all license or something because it, it's it's getting bad out here, man. Being yeah. honest with you, yeah, for sure. Okay. And, we, and being then, honest. And then um what I got what I got next is uh basketball BMF BMF we'll cover the rest of the season. I'm covering basically every show that comes out. Um I'm doing the show so I make a lookout for that. Um BMF the shot, NBA playoffs coming around the corner. Um the draft, I will be going live on the draft. Come I went live last year when the draft was on. Um definitely man, we we, we going to be working. Oh, Messy Mondays every single Monday. Tune into Messy Mondays. We got you know tell them what we're going to talk about, man. The best gossip show on the planet, Messy Mondays, every single Monday. And I'm noticing the Messy Mondays numbers are going up too. So we just gotta stick with it, Detroit. Stick with it. Um, you know, and also be on the lookout for that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a wrap. It's coming, man. Absolutely. Um, and I, I want to say something backstage, but uh we out. Yeah. Ain't nothing much to say. Happy Saturday. Later. Happy Saturday, man. Enjoy the rest Happy of y'all weekend. Blessings. Yeah.